Hey guys on YouTube, there's a new thing that I'm trying out this year, a vlog series uh, that I do weekly. Didn't want to tell you about it until I tried it out. I'm trying it out. So far I like it, it's pretty good. So what I'm doing is doing daily one minute videos up to Instagram and I put some photos, some videos, I interact with people on there just so you get the, the day to day content. And then I'll take all those videos at the end of the week, stitch them together and publish them the next week. So if you don't want to follow me on Instagram, which you don't have to, it's up to you. If you don't want to follow me on Instagram, I'll be reposting with some of the B-roll and stuff that I can include on those little short snippets on Instagram. You get a little bit extra on Instagram, you get a little extra on YouTube and trying to please everybody. It's an easy way for me to create videos on a day-to-day -day basis. Instagram is a great marketing tool for farmers and for the farm marketing guy, it's a great tool for me to share my story with you guys. So you can follow us on Instagram at Marketing Farms. I'll have links down below. Uh, or you could just watch the rest of this video, enjoy it, and then watch out for the next one coming next week. Hey, it's John, and here's where I'm at today. I, we worked out our plan for putting up the fence around the orchard. Our old fence had fallen down, and we were digging holes for the new post, and the excavator track really just kind of fell apart. It's an older machine, older track, rubber tracks, they wear out over time. In the middle, we were cruising along. We had a good pace. We were set to finish all the holes today. We're going to do start poles tomorrow, and the excavator track fell apart. Uh, farming, things go wrong. It just takes the wind out of your sails. Now, instead of uh, being post hole digger, extraordinaire I'm gonna be a mechanic extraordinaire recover what I can from this track get it back down to my shop so I can work on it and then spend there anywhere from six hundred to a thousand dollars for a new track so I also now have to figure out where I'm gonna find that money another day on the job farmer life talk to you guys soon thanks for stopping in one of the many tasks we got done today on this beautiful beautiful day sitting next to our little pond here uh, was pruning back our raspberry bushes we prune them back the first year that they send up shoots, there's no fruit. They're just kind of growing. The second year, they put out raspberries. These are ever uh, fruiting raspberries, so they we get two harvests out of them. Uh, and then the third year, the canes are dead, so we cut those out, take them, get rid of them, and compost them. Um, yeah, this is, this is a good task. Really, it was just an excuse to be outside. We'll get the water and uh, enjoy some sunshine. Hope you enjoyed your day. Talk to you soon. Bye. Calculate for yourself the real price of raising broiler chickens with the pastured poultry packet. I've created a workbook that is going to walk you through all the little bits of information you're going to need to have to track costs when it comes to pastured poultry. From sourcing chicks to ordering feed, even how you're going to process your birds, it's all presented in a very clear, organized, and easy to understand workbook. By the end of the exercise, you will have a budget to set up your poultry farm or homestead, you will know what it costs to raise each chicken, and you will have the confidence to get started. The workbook is broken into three sections. Section 1, Plan helps you answer all the questions required to start raising broiler chickens. Section two, budget, walks you through your startup costs as well as the cost of each chicken start to finish. Section three, run, gives you easy to follow illustrations to keep your farm or homestead running smoothly. Get the packet, grow your birds, feed your family, and change the way you eat chicken. Visit farmmarketingsolutions.com for more information. Kate and I moved our chicken coop over closer to our shop to work on it. We want to make some updates. We're bringing eggs back on the farm this year and, uh, you know, want to do some upgrades. We know that there were some flaws in our initial design and without spending a lot of money, we can adapt this one. We'll have some videos on that coming out on what our updates are, but shops there, chicken coops there. Kate's doing the work and I am creating a video for Instagram because you guys are great. I'm also wearing my Canada hat today just to say hi to Curtis Stone and JM because they're great, Canada's great. Talk to you guys soon. So I'm in my big goofy hat and we replaced not one, but two excavator tracks. We replaced both tracks, got them on. The second track fought us when we were putting it on, got it on. These things are 300 pounds each, so it's kind of hard. Got it on and there's a grease fitting to make sure to tension the track and in fixing it, the grease fitting broke, replaced the fitting, the grease gun broke, got a new gun, the tip on the next grease gun broke, and I'm calling it quits for today. That's it, it's over, it's done. Thanks guys for tuning in, I hope you enjoyed the video. I will do my best to keep it going weekly, going forward throughout the year, so you'll be able to catch all the updates as they come out. If you wanna follow it live, get it on the daily. You can follow Farm, Farm Marketing Solutions on Instagram. I do things in one take. Farm Marketing Solutions on Instagram, at Marketing Farms, links down below in the little section there with all the stuff and the place and the thing. And until next time, I will see you out in the field.